I'm very happy that Simon's finally making a recording after all these years. Really, I'm, I'm very pleased for Simon to finally uh, get out this album, you know, and I think it's going to turn a couple of heads. Simon's been playing for such a long time. It's a, it, it really is a pleasure. I'm really pleased that he's, that he's finally made a recording and people know how great he is, you know. I think that's really good. I'd, I'd like to say I'm thrilled that you finally got out of the classroom. <laughs> Simon's got a, a, you know, obviously the reputation as a great um, educator, and um, all the piano players that he's he's taught have all got their own voices, which, which is great teaching as well. But Simon's definitely got his own voice, so I've certainly learned loads playing with him. together for a long time in, in, in this particular congregation have been playing together for about 12 years and on trumpet is Chris Batchelor. Um, we go back a long way and we first started playing together the Glamorgan Jazz Summer School where we were both teaching together and hadn't really occupied the same kind of musical spaces but then through that I think began to realise that we had some things in common and ever since I've tried to play with Chris as, as much as I can. Um, Julian and, and Jules and I go back to the East London Jazz Project in the mid 90s and we first did gigs when Julian was playing bass. Um, Steve was busy. <laughs> and uh, yes, that's Julian Siegel, who I'm eternally, eternally indebted to, almost as much as the man on my left, who's indebted to me. <laughs> and the amount of <laughs> Gene Calderat and I go back to 1980. 1986. 1986. And we've been playing on, on and off ever since. And Steve Watts and I go back even further back, mm. about 1981, 82. 82, probably. Yeah. yeah. And uh, in another piano player to yeah. do most of these parts. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh no! I suppose you'd say the genre is this part of the uh, the jazz tradition, um, maybe the, even the North American jazz tradition. But I mean, I I love the North American jazz tradition. But I suppose you you just follow how your imagination takes you. So the, the reference points you might hear in this music, just the way the music is is now. I'm not gonna. I'm not worried about that. I'm not self-conscious about it. My experience playing with you guys is that this band, although some of the music is tricky, it's really about the vibe. And uh, one of the things I learned with you guys when we did that tour of Scotland years ago was writing all that music and then becoming really clear within the first sort of half hour of the first rehearsal that there's no point in writing music for those people to play that's really intricate. You've got to give the music away to people who want to play music. And <clears throat> I learned a lot from, as usual, from Gene on that tour and from Chris just about the relationship between written music and improvising and who it's for. And that really changed the way I thought about a lot of things. And I think it, People can get really hung up about genre and references and the time music was played originally and you know the fact that I love Charlie Parker and Bill Evans and Coltrane and Miles Davis, I'm not going to worry about that at all, it's pointless, especially at my age. Just rather get on with having having a really enjoyable time doing my best playing with my friends who play fantastic. We've been playing together for about 14, 15 years. Um, the band's been together roughly that amount of time um, but for various reasons hasn't been playing together all of that time 
we've done the odd very short tour and gigs in and around London. Um, but now, you know, I've made the record, very much hoping that we'll be more, much more active. <laughs> 